following video will show how an employee creates and submits a time card in Web Center 6. To begin, the employee must log into their Web Center 6 profile account. Once they have logged in, they will be brought immediately to the home page. On the home page, you'll note on the left hand side all current assignments and all time cards. By clicking on either of these links, it will direct you to the Assignments tab or the Time Cards tab at the top of the screen. For an employee to create a time card, they must initially go to the Assignments tab and identify the assignment they'd like to create a time card for. By choosing on the left-hand side from their current assignments which assignment they'd like to create a time card for, you can select that assignment and click Create Time Card on the right-hand side of the screen. At this point, the employee will be able to choose the week they'd like to create a time card for and the pay code they'd like to use, depending on what options you have given them to choose from. By selecting a date and choosing a pay code using the radio button, you can now hit confirm and the employee will then be asked a second time to confirm that they'd like to create a time card for this week. Once they've created the time card, they're able to close that window or view the time card immediately. By closing the window, the time card would be available under the Time Cards tab for them to enter time at their leisure. By clicking View Time Card, they're able to immediately start begin entering time into the system. You'll notice here that we have an example of a federal time card. However, if you would like to use a weekly time card or an hourly time, a weekly time card or a daily time card for your employees, you can choose what type of time card you would like them to use and what type of time card they should receive on their profile. Once an employee has entered time, they have the option to submit the time card for approval by the, their supervisor or save and close. They can save and close as many times as they would like until they are ready to submit the time card to their supervisor. When I hit save and close, the time card is now available under the time card section. And you'll note that this time card is past due, but I can continue to edit and submit this time card as many times as I need to. Once, I've, once I'm happy with the time card, the adjustments I need, the cost codes that have been added, I can hit Submit Time Card, and the time card would be submitted to the customer profile within Web Center 6 for approval. The employee would only need to come back here to submit time for that week if their time card was rejected and they need to change the amount of time on the time card. Please refer to www.tempworks.com for further questions or call our support line if you have any additional questions regarding creating a time card within Web Center 6.